In this video, we're going to circle back on the 3D Connection Space Mouse, as well as look at their latest and greatest product, the Keyboard Pro with NumPad. NumPad? NumPad. Stick around. Alright, so last month 3D Connection released a new product. It's the Keyboard Pro with NumPad. Now this is long overdue and it kind of completes their uh, 3D virtualization human input device sort of control suite, if you will, or product family, however you want to refer to it. It looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of uh, contextual buttons across the top. We're going to dig into that, but before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing. All right, so the box is really well designed. I mean, this is all throwaway, but the quality and aesthetics are really going to sell itself um, with the simple graphics and the elegant sort of uh, simplicity just to the layout. Um, so that always um, you know, is, is some, a product that's after my heart. <laughs> it's basically a sleeve, it slides out, uh, and then once you open it up, you're, you're presented with the uh, keyboard and the numpad, both wrapped in black tissue paper. Then with the basic you know, workflow, unpack, plug in the USB, download the software. So with that, uh, we open up the numpad. It's very minimalistic in nature and in design. Um, it feels, has a texture of silk. It's just super soft on the hands. Um, and it has these nice kick out stands. Um, it's substantially white. It looks like it's got a power button on the back and a USB-C for charging it. Now this uh, numpad is wireless uh, 2.5 gigahertz uh, to the keyboard but the keyboard however is wired you see as we pull that out there's this t about a eight foot cord on the back of it again wrapped in black tissue paper uh, and the same kick out legs which is nice um, to kind of put it up at an ergonomic angle for you Has a, a nice chiclet style keyboard, soft to the touch. Um, they're weighted pretty well um, and they're silent. Um, so aside from that, they all have the same texture and across the top you see the 12 uh, macro buttons, if you will. An exaggerated front area for your wrist to rest on. Uh, and other than that, there's really uh, no significant features to the design. Less is more. With the new design, uh, the difference between the two is that the Space Mouse kind of has this soft touch and then it has the shiny black acrylic at the top. It would have been neat to, to see them carry that design over into the, the new product family. Maybe they're going in a different direction. But the uh, texture on the keyboard and the texture on the numpad are just like a satin, soft, um, hard black plastic feel there's nothing really uh, specific to it. Um, it it just feels like silk and it does collect fingerprints which I'm not a big fan of would have been nice to see if they they put that soft touch down at the the wrist area uh, to prevent some of the the fingerprints from accumulating there over on the right obviously the pro mouse and then the space mouse on the left I like the way it looks and typing on it is, is very comfortable and it it's quiet. Uh, you can only hear really um, my heavy thumbs on the, the space bar. Although looking at this video again, it, it doesn't look very ergonomic in that regard. When you first get the device, in order to use those macro keys, you gotta go to their website, download a driver. And that's just in the support section. You scroll down to the driver area, download that driver, uh, in this case for Windows 10. 64 bit and install the software. The installation is pretty painless, and as we go through the setup, um, there's quite a few options that you can configure in terms of which plugins you want to install um, that the keyboard supports. And they support just about just about any 3D environment you can think of uh, and many others. Now, in addition to just 3D applications, they also support like the, the standard Outlook, uh, email, uh, Chrome browser, 
uh, you know, in standard applications that you would have on your system. And the reason why this is important to note is that all of those hotkeys across the keyboard are specific to the application that currently has focus. So if you're working in Chrome, then all of those hotkeys are going to be links to websites. If you're working in uh, Outlook, then each of those hotkeys may be like a new email or a new appointment or you know delete or copy or things that are useful for you to know in Outlook. But the the only challenge I have with that is that uh, you know with all of those variations that every application that I touch changes the meaning of what those buttons are, it's difficult to remember what they stand for. And so in order to help you out with that, they do have an on-screen toolbar that will show you the current uh, definitions of the 16 um, macro buttons on the keyboard. And that just hovers anywhere that you want it to on your screen and you can dock it to the edge of the screen. Uh, it's pretty useful, and you'll see that in a minute uh, once this installation completes. Now, when the macro keys that I was talking about are these across the top here, and those are above the standard F keys. So these are all brand new customizable keys that are application specific. For example, if the desktop has focus, then you'll notice the floating bar in the lower center down here. With the desktop focus, um, those are hotkeys to launch applications. And those represent each of the 12 buttons on the keyboard. Now, if I give focus to uh, Explorer, then you see that these turn into Explorer-specific hotkeys. If I give focus to Chrome, then there's 12 Chrome-specific hotkeys. So this can be complicated in how to remember and program what you want for each of these applications. But it's very, it's highly configurable. It can be key combinations or application links or macros or whatever you want. Uh, if you're able to use that level of complexity and you need all those macro buttons, then this is the setup for you. Just keep in mind that the Pro Mouse has about six uh, buttons, the keyboard has 16, and the Space Mouse has another 12 across its top. So there you have it, the Keyboard Pro with NumPad. You know, over the past year working with the Space Mouse, I, I've come to really become dependent on it, and it's just such a pleasure to use in those 3D environments. I can't live without it. But with regard to all of the additional and extended capabilities, the macros, the buttons, and the application-specific hotkeys, you know, I don't ever really use all of that functionality. But if you are in a situation to where you all you do is use say fusion 360 um, all day long then chances are that you'll become acutely aware of those shortcuts and those hotkeys to improve your workflow uh, and of the tool chains that you use uh, that said this is another high quality product that they're adding to their their product family uh, go check it out it's around 120 bucks for this device it is a wired keyboard with a wireless numpad uh, and it fits in for a modern sort of desktop experience uh, for engineers. Uh, now, one of the problems that uh, continue to haunt me are the, the fingerprints, you know. It's such a nice silk surface that it does collect fingerprints and oil from anything on your hands, and I'm constantly cleaning it. So if, if that'll bother you, this is likely to drive you crazy. I'll let you know what solutions I come up with in the future. Um, but until then, I, this is a great product. I, I purchased it. it. It was just released math last month. I'll leave links in the description so you can go check it out and, and see if that's something that will be an upgrade for your work experience. That said, um, that's that's all we're going to cover in this video. Now, I did get all the parts for the Pongcade. We've got uh, the DigiKey came in, the JLC boards came in, the new LED acrylic came in. So that's going to come together real quick. In the next couple days, we'll probably see a video for that. I'm on a roll. What is this, like four videos this month? It's kind of crazy. Um, that said, uh, you know, have a nice holiday. If I don't, if, I'm not sure when this is going to be released. Probably before New Year. So happy New Year! I'll be the first to tell you that. In the meantime, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It's how we're building the community. Also, allow me to bring better content. Also, check me out on these other social networks. There's lots of cool stuff there too.